So what I'm trying to do here is, I've got the board upside down, and I'm going to solder these ESCs over there, and these over there, so that when I put it the right way up, it'll just sit under like that. Okay, right, I have got the ESCs all with power now. I've not done the signal cables yet. One thing you need to do with this F3 board, uh, sorry, F4 board, is bridge the little thing on the bottom. So you can bridge it for five volts or for VBAT. What I'm gonna do is I've bridged it to VBAT, and then I'm, that puts VBAT on one of the, the pins over here. So, and then I'm gonna use that to power the tram, and then I'm gonna use another five volt pin to power the camera. Wiring these ESCs up with an absolute pain. The way this Betaflight F4 board works is you've got ESC pads on the bottom and then a lot of the other stuff is on the top, which just makes it very difficult. If Actually, it doesn't have to be difficult. If you unscrew your motors, it'll be much easier. I've shortened and tinned all the ground and signal pads. One thing to note, I wanted the power cable coming out the front, which means that this board is not in its default orientation. It's actually pointing backwards. So what that means is your motor and uh, your motor signal positions are all now incorrect. So if I was to solder that onto there, that wouldn't be in the right place. That would actually be for this position over here. So what you can do in beta flight though is you can remap your motor positions. So I'm gonna solder these direct on there so it's nice and neat, and then remap it in, uh, in the CLI afterwards. Here it goes. Continuity check, always worth doing on the main uh, battery lead. Right, let's plug this into beta flight and see if the board's still okay. Everything is backwards, so spin that around 180 degrees. Okay, that seems good. So I know that these should work up on D shot. So let's turn on D shot. Put it on 8K, 8K. Right, well, let's plug a battery and see what happens. Okay, that is a good sign. Cool.